The world knows Sylvester Stallone as the icon of machismo, the brave Rambo and Rocky of our times. But when he started out, the truth could be far from these glorious images. Michael Sylvester Stallone was born to immigrant parents in 1946 in Hell's Kitchen, the notoriously violent, poor neighborhood in Manhattan. A medical accident on his birth left Stallone with parts of his lip, tongue, and chin paralyzed. Growing up, he was ridiculed for his incomprehensible speech patterns, drooping lower lip, and partially closed left eye and sickly build. His parents were constantly fighting, and were unable to support their two kids. È l'unica pazza che ti sopporta. Ah sì, è l'unica pazza che mi sopporta. Sì. È finita. Per ora. Addio. Finalmente. Till the age of five, he spent majority of his time in foster care. Too much for a young kid to handle. When his parents divorced, 11-year-old Stallone had to remain with his stern father. His teenage was even more stressful as he was ready to do just about anything for attention, however negative. He had already been enrolled in 14 schools, and expelled several times for his behavior problems and horrible grades. His classmates picked on him and his father was physically abusive. Fed up, at age 15, Stallone moved to Philadelphia to be with his mother. He was told at this time that his brain was dormant, so he started bodybuilding as an escape. Stallone began lifting weights, and took up fencing, football, and the discus. While in school, he took interest in acting and he moved to New York in 1969, to pursue acting. Once in New York, he found himself poor. To meet ends, he worked at odd jobs. He cleaned appliance cages at the Central Park Zoo and worked as an usher at a movie theater, all the while auditioning frequently, but unsuccessfully. No one was ready to bet his money on Stallone. He slept in a bus station, he acted in a soft porn movie to make some money. He was broke, owned two pairs of pants, shoes with holes in them, and his dreams seemed very far. He was tired of rejection after rejection after rejection. Nothing in him suited Hollywood's hero image. He had to finally sell his beloved dog, Butkus, for $40. The lowest moment in his life. But, instead of giving up, he turned to writing scripts. A few weeks after the tragic event, he watched a Muhammad Ali boxing match that inspired him to write a new script. He wrote the entire script in just three days. Studios loved the script but didn't love Stallone's one request. He wanted to be the main actor in the movie. The studio said no. They wanted a real star. They said he looked funny and talked funny. He left with the script. A few weeks later, the studio offered him $250,000 for the script and then $350,000. He still refused. He had to be in that movie. After a while, the studio agreed, gave him $35,000 for the script and let him star in it. But do you know what the first thing he did was when he got the money? He went back to the man who bought his dog and offered $50, $100, $500 and even $1000 to buy his dog from the man. In the end he had to pay $15,000 to get his dog back. But it was not a problem, he loved his dog, also the movie he made with a small budget of $1 million, went on to gross $225 million and created history. In 1977, his movie was nominated for 10 Academy Awards, including Best Actor and Best Original Screenplay nominations for Stallone. The film went on to win the Oscar for Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Film Editing. And this movie was Rocky, one of the greatest movies ever made, a film which doesn't need any introduction, anywhere in the world. The story of the underdog which inspired many around the world. Rocky eventually became a franchise spanning many films, game adaptations and merchandise. Gone were the old bad days, replaced with glitz and glamour. The success of Rocky was followed by another cult classic. In 1982, Stallone starred as Vietnam veteran John Rambo, in the action film First Blood, which was both a critical and box office success. It launched yet another phenomenon, the Rambo franchise. Stallone has portrayed these two characters in a total of 11 films, 5 in Rambo series, and 6 in Rocky franchise. Stallone became a household name around the world and a hero to almost all boys and men alike. The new poster boy of the world had arrived. 
Stallone didn't sell his script even when he was broke, because he knew he had to act in that movie. What does Stallone's story tell us? Failure is a part of life. Failure is the fire from the ashes of which your phoenix can rise. Dreaming is easy, working for your dreams is not. Failures, rejections, financial worries, insecurities and many other hard things await you. But do not be discouraged. If people did, we might never have had any success stories. At least not Stallone's. Every time I failed, people had me out for the count, but I always come back. Stallone said. Likewise, never doubt your dreams. Always come back. Enjoying our stories? Now, it's the time to like and follow our page.